covering major news across San Diego. 10 minutes of non-stop news starts now. They help to steer you in the right direction, but GPS devices are also being used to navigate the operating table, the critical role they're playing in helping patients walk again. An intricate surgery made easier by a device used in your car. How GPS is helping patients get back on their feet again. GPS technology is helping people walk again. A local doctor specializes in using it specifically for back surgery. 10 News reporter Sharice Yu shares why one school teacher says the technology will also help her teach again. Jeanette Major Annette lived in constant pain. Pain brought on by two back surgeries after she was rear-ended. Couldn't move. Could only lay on my left side. Couldn't walk, couldn't sit, and couldn't even lay on my back or right side. Doctors told her the impact from the accident pushed her spine out of alignment and advised her to go under the knife. But she says the surgery caused problems, including a growth of excess scar tissue. And the pain came fiercely back when the scar tissue formed. Annette had excruciating pain from her spine to her legs. But then she met Dr. Shoal Kim, a doctor who specializes in minimally invasive back and spine surgery. She was lying down. So until I did my surgery, I only saw her lying down. I never saw her standing up. He used GPS technology called Stealth to remove the scar tissue. I decide where I'm going to operate first, and I only expose that area. And that, I think, is a key element. The navigation system allows us to take all these pictures, store them into the navigation computer. Stealth technology allows him to be more precise. See, I can tell from this skin incision that I can reach up to this part of the bone in this part of the bone before I even make my skin incision. Jeanette says she was walking the same day of her surgery. I actually got up the day of surgery, but I walked stairs the next morning. She now experiences only minimal back pain. She hopes to be able to teach again someday. Sharice Yu, 10 News.